Hello and welcome along to the next episode of my camera conversion YouTube channel. So this video is going to be slightly different from my usual how-to instructional type videos. This one is pretty much going to be how not to. Uh, my brother has bought a van, he's been seeing me do a few camper van conversions over the last year or so. And he's always liked the thought of having the camper van as well, so he's went out and bought this van. This van was a camper van, but whoever's converted it, if it used to be yours, I'm sorry, but it's a hell of a terrible job on this one. So I thought I'd actually do a quick video just to show basically how not to convert the camper van, because this is pretty much a perfect example. So the van itself, it's a Citroen Regulator 2004, and the previous owner's absolutely gone to town with all of this chrome trim. Every single wear, it's uh, just peeling off. And as I say, it just doesn't particularly look nice and neat all the way around the front. As I say, they've just gone to town with it all over the place, all this chrome trim. As I say, that's nothing camper conversion wise, but it certainly doesn't make the van look nice and neat. There's all sorts of stickers, auto sleeper stickers stuck all over it as well, and it's certainly not an auto sleeper van. So again, it's just trying to be something that it's just not at all. As I say, the van itself, it's a solid enough looking van, but as I say, whoever's done the conversion, they just haven't put any thought into it at all, whatsoever. I mean, when I'm looking around it, when he showed me the van, there's caravan door windows in, but they've been put in on a ridge, as you can see. So there's a hell of a lot of sealant at the top, but then when you look underneath, there's absolutely no sealant underneath the window at all. And you can actually poke your finger through in between the rubber seal and the metal. So in any sort of rain or wet weather, the water's just going to be running down, hitting the seal, running down the side, and then straight in under where there's just absolutely no sealant at all whatsoever. You can even see the metalwork starting to rust because none of the metalwork will have been treated when it was painted. So in theory, that would have to come out. It's even been putting upside down as well, but that's by the by. Doesn't really matter, but you can just see by the amount of uh, lack of sealant on the underside and the amount of uh, not very well sealed in sealant on the top. That's not a, exactly a very good job, put it that way. The amount of vents that are on this van is ridiculous. And again, all the vents have just been screwed in with no sealant at all whatsoever. I mean, why you would have a large brass vent along that side, no idea. There's a Thetford cassette toilet flap on the inside there. But on the inside, there's absolutely no toilet. So again, unless that's been put in for some sort of access hatch, but even so, there are better ways of fitting an access hatch than using an old uh, toilet. And again, that itself, it's got a little bit of sealant going around it, but it's certainly, again, not watertight. You can wiggle it around inside the panel. It's just not a very good job at all. The windows themselves, this side window doesn't look too bad because it's still got the actual rubber surrounded, but these have been screwed straight through the rubber, through the metal. I'll show you on the other side of the van when I go around there. Let's have a look, see. You now, see, on this side, the window is absolutely appalling. Every single screw, you can see, going all the way around the entire frame. There's absolutely no attempt at all to make them watertight either. Very, very little sealant, and what sealant there is, you can see it's cracking away, so it's probably been some sort of uh, uh, like builder's cork or something like that, rather than proper window sealant that's been used for this. Again, even the frame itself, it's just cracking apart inside as well, so this will be pissing through water as well. And it's the same situation with this small little one as well. This one's been put in the right way around, but again, it's just added a smothering of sealant around the top and little to none at all underneath and as you can see you can just peel that rubber away there and that itself is going to be letting water in straight away same on the other side as well it's just a bit awkward with my gloves but again you can just see it's just peeling up peeling away it's already broken in the sealant inside so again as i say these windows have just not been put in in the right place or correctly at all if they'd been moved down a couple of inches so they were lower than this particular bevel in the panel then they would have been able to go in solid and flat and they would have been able to get bonded in properly but because of the way the previous one has put them in where it's going up above a bevel that's made it even more awkward and as you can see there that is just absolutely terrible sealant again on this side you've got another one two three vents these vents don't go to anything on the inside 
there's absolutely no sealant as you can see they are literally just four screws placed on and that's going to be letting water piss through on the inside as well exactly the same with that one again no sealant at all you just got four tiny little screws and then he's been expecting that to be watertight when you can literally wiggle the vent and that's going to be again letting water run all the way on the inside and through the metal work same with that one as well that one's got absolutely no sealant at all as well again just a few screws and expecting a few screws to hold plastic against metal and for that to be watertight it's just not going to work at all so as i say the outside it looks a bit of a mess all the windows are being put in incorrectly all the vents are being just screwed on with no sealant or anything like that so as i say there's plenty of things certainly not to do straight away off the bat now when they've been installing some things on the roof as well i've had to be duck, ducking down when i've been inside this van just out of fear of stabbing my head because when you look around you've got just loose screws that have been screwed through from the inside from the top of the roof down and again they've been screwing these wooden battens from the roof down and again you just if you haven't put any wooden battens on the ceiling of a van bond them in don't screw from the roof down the skylight itself that's been screwed and bolted again from the roof down rather than securing from the inside up as you should be and it's had a hack of a aircon unit put in as well but as you can see again that's certainly not exactly a nice neat job either so that's probably gonna have to come out more than anything else and again the amount of sealant and crap that's being put around that as well it's just ridiculous and you just as i say you just need to be so careful where you're standing in here the amount of bolts and screws and nails and things that have been sent down from the top it's just absolutely ridiculous i'll show you the roof now so when i'm getting up on the roof you can see it's just screwed straight through the roof itself no sealant no covers no grommets no nothing and again expect that to be watertight that's just going to be pissing through water as well the skylight itself has been screwed in all the way around as well and again that itself they shouldn't be screwed down like that the skylights themselves should just be held in with mastic tape and then secured from the underneath out i've got videos on my channel showing how to fit a skylight properly follow that rather than this but as you can see this roof itself it's just absolutely full of holes that they've managed to put through put uh, an aerial on there but rather than again just bonding it or using a couple of small little securing bolts they've used stupidly long bolts and I don't know how many of them as well so again all of those would have to come out and all of that would have to be sealed up as well again with the aircon unit ideally that would need to be removed and possibly the hole covered over with a skylight instead of this unit but again you can just see just very very little effort has been put in at all whatsoever even the awning rails just been screwed in with no sealant at all so again every single hole that's been poked through you can see where the screws are you can see that there's rust starting to appear under every one because again there's just been absolutely no treatment at all they just screwed straight through the bare metal and then just expected that to be okay which it isn't and they've started on the insulation on the inside but again it's just bubble foil all around as well it's just a mess i'm trying to convince my brother to actually not bother with this fan it did come with a few bits so i've said to him just try and keep the bits get a better bodied van because the amount of time you could spend trying to rectify other people's bodge jobs you could just be spending that time actually on the conversion itself and as i say going just by the state of this one all these windows would need to come out all the big windows would need to come out all the top skylights and the aircon would need to come off all these holes would either need to be filled in or covered over with different skylights they have to have proper bonded windows fitted in that would actually fit i mean look at the state of this you've got screws going through the panel all the way around the window it is just an absolute as i say this is the perfect how not to video more than anything else so yeah i hope you're finding this video slightly entertaining and say if you want to actually see how to do most of these jobs properly do have a look at my channel i've converted five vans on my channel so far and each van has been documented job by job showing exactly how i have done things 
and if I was doing jobs like this I certainly wouldn't be uploading them, I'll say that for a fact. So I'd say I just thought I'd do a very very quick walk around video of this van just to show pretty much the bod jobs that a previous owner's done on this one. I mean, again, there's absolutely no treatments on the rust on the arches as well. They've had things secured to there. Nothing's been uh, treated or anything, so that's just start, starting to rust and rot away. Same on that side as well. That arch is probably going to be going soon. As I say, it's just, it hasn't been done properly. It hasn't had much care and attention put into it. It just looks as though it's had more of a slapdash job put in. It's probably done somebody for a while, but it's just I certainly wouldn't be happy with it put it that way I mean even all this chrome around all the back lights and this that the other it's just it just doesn't look nice or neat in my eyes anyway so yeah as I say I thought I'd just do a quick video basically showing how not to make a camper van if you are going to be doing anything in regards to fitting windows skylights cutting holes in the actual panels this that the other use sealant it's not asking much, and it's only going to be protecting your van. If you're cutting holes in metalwork, paint the metal before you actually start doing anything. Again, it's just going to be protecting the metalwork, and it's just going to be prolonging the life of the van and the conversion. Try not to stick loads of crappy stickers all over it as well, especially trying to make it into something that it's not. And as I say, it's uh, it just... When he turned up in this, I just wanted to walk away, put it that way. <laughs> So I'm going to crack on with my conversions, I'm still working on my VW T5, but as I say, there's loads of videos on my channel showing how I'm converting my vans, and as I say, they are documented job by job, broke down in detail, so you can see exactly how I've been documenting, uh, how I've been converting my vans, and it's not as though I'm proclaiming to be a professional, but compared to this, I could certainly open my own business, put it that way. <laughs> Right, so I hope you found this video slightly entertaining and useful, uh, slightly informative of what not to do. And I said, do have a look at my channel to find out how to do correct uh, conversion jobs. So, give this video a good old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for my channel, because as I say, there's loads of conversion jobs on my channel, but plenty more to come as well. And hopefully, you'll be able to have a look at my jobs on my channel and see how to do some of these jobs properly. So, thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you on the next video of the series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.